the, 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 the question about WikiLeaks. The, uh, so I should put the talk, obviously, it's going to be, so I guess you're going to answer it. So open government data is, is data which the government has decided, has data about the country, so about how the government is working, which uh, is not about personally, it's not personally identifiable information about individuals. It does not have uh, privacy issues associated with it. And it, does not, it, and it is not a military or state secret. When you look at governments, there is a huge amount of information in that category. If you are working on open data in your government, you can work on a huge amount of data. Uh, you can put all the mapping data out there, but where all the potholes are, where all uh, there's a huge amount of financial data, uh, for example, which you uh, put out there. Before you were touching anything, which is military, yes, it may be that the, the, uh, the money which is spent on the army, the navy, and the air force, then probably yes, you uh, after a certain point, you don't say how many bullets have been bought. But the vast majority of that data is data which is valuable to everybody in the country, it's public, uh, and it's not the sort of thing which uh, is embarrassing to people particularly, when it, it, it shouldn't be, it's the sort of thing where it isn't embarrassing, how can those people embarrass? Um, so it's not, now the, the, what happened recently on WikiLeaks was that somebody stole information, somebody had access, privileged access to information, betrayed the trust, put in them in their job, and they took information which should not have been, according to the, their employer, released, and they released it. And that is something completely different. So when we talk about transparency, we're not talking about uh, you know, breaking confidentiality, breaking uh, state secrets or military secrets. There is, uh, so, uh, what's funny is that people have focused on, uh, on one individual who is one of the crowd of people involved in, Wiki, in the, the WikiLeaks uh, group as though they made the leak. They didn't make the leak. WikiLeaks, despite that, do not make leaks. They just, they just provide a, a, a service of keeping things on the, putting things on the web. There is an interesting question, to which I don't know the answer as to whether at the end of the day, it is very, very important for somebody to be able to be anonymous, or at the end of the day, it is very, very important for society as a whole to be able to remove somebody's anonymity. And in fact, I think both things true, are true, and they will just be battled up eventually to occasionally ending up in the Supreme Court, because both things are important to be able The whistleblower idea is very important in democracy, uh, for the overturning of oppressive regimes. The, 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 the idea that the, the, the press should be able to not reveal their sources, for example, is a very important point, an uh, important principle. And the fact that people should be accountable for what they say, and that you can't just go out there anonymously insulting people, libeling them, creating havoc, uh, which then spread that untold damage across the blogosphere, uh, without any accountability. That is an important principle too, but obviously these principles are in conflict. And we, as society, have to work out rules which allow us to have norms on both sides, allowing both principles to survive, and where they can total conflict, have a way of resolving it in each, in each case. That's what I've been, I've been asked that question a few times. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, other comments about what